barrel roll is a coordinated roll about an imaginary point located at a 45 degree bearing from the original heading. It combines a climbing turn of 90 degrees with a diving turn of 90 degrees. The nose of the plane describes a circle about the imaginary point, half above the horizon and half below it. Practicing the maneuver to right and left will help you develop coordination, orientation, and feel for the aircraft in its various changes of attitudes and airspeed. This film is intended to help you visualize the pattern of the barrel roll and how the maneuver is accomplished. It is done with a constant power setting and with the aircraft checked for acrobatic crew. It begins with a steep climb, followed by a roll done at a constant rate, so that the loss of airspeed in the climbing half of the maneuver is regained during the diving half and you recover on your original heading, altitude, and airspeed. Before beginning a barrel roll, pick out reference lines to help keep your heading clear. Go through your acrobatic checkoff list. Make a 180 degree turn or two 90 degree clearing turns, paralleling the chosen reference line as you roll out of the last turn. Select some point on the horizon at a 45 degree bearing from you. Start a steep climb, then apply aileron and rudder in the direction you wish to roll. Apply your control pressures properly to fly your plane through the maneuver, recovering in level flight at the same altitude, airspeed, and heading. Here are some checkpoints. At approximately 45 degrees from your original heading, you are in a 90 degree bank. Your wings vertical to the ground. Your nose is at the top of the circle. Continuing to the 90 degree heading, you are in level inverted flight with your nose just on the horizon. Your reference line is directly below you and your horizon checkpoint is still at a 45 degree bearing from you in this inverted position. Rolling at a constant rate, you complete the maneuver on your original heading, altitude and airspeed. If executed properly, the nose of your aircraft has described a circle around your checkpoint, remaining at a constant distance from it throughout. Your reference line is in the same position as at the beginning of the maneuver. Let's look at it from your point of view. Now let's go through the roll again, stressing the checkpoint. You have completed your acrobatic checkoff list and trim for level flight 130 knots, 1950 RPM. Now select your reference lines. Two roads intersecting at a 90 degree angle are best. Make a 90 degree clearing turn toward your reference line Then make a second 90 degree turn and roll out, paralleling your reference line. Select a checkpoint on the horizon at a 45 degree bearing from you. Remember that your nose is to describe a circle about this point. Begin a steep climb then a smooth, coordinated roll that continues throughout the maneuver. Watch that again. Remember to keep your rate of roll constant.
Now let's look at your checkpoint. At approximately 45 degrees from your original heading, you are at 90 degrees of bank. Your horizon checkpoint is here. Continuing your roll, you reach the 90 degree heading with your nose meeting the horizon and your aircraft in inverted flight. Your checkpoint is again visible at a 45 degree bearing from you. And by looking over the nose, you will see your 90 degree reference line directly below you. Continuing your constant roll, you complete the maneuver in level flight on your original heading, altitude, and airspeed. Your checkpoint is at a 45 degree heading from you, and you are again paralleling your reference line. Remember, with your reference line selected and your clearing turns completed, pick a checkpoint on the horizon that is at a 45 degree bearing from your plane. Plan the maneuver so that the nose of your aircraft will describe a circle around this checkpoint. Keep your rate of roll constant, making whatever slight corrections may be necessary with your control. Memorize these checkpoints. At the start, you are paralleling your reference line and have selected your checkpoint bearing 45 degrees from you. At the highest point of the circle, your wings are vertical. Your checkpoint is visible over your left side. When you are at the 90 degree heading, you are in level inverted flight with your nose meeting the horizon. Your checkpoint is again at a 45 degree bearing from you. By looking over your nose, you can see your reference line directly beneath you. Holding the roll constant, you complete the maneuver. Always keep the first half of the circle your nose is describing around your checkpoint, the same distance above the horizon as the last half is below it. And your barrel rolls will be as smooth, steady, and well-coordinated as this one. <laughs>